Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. Now we created the layout on header screen means screen hundred. We displayed the output for screen hundred. If I will run the program, I will pass the input. Whenever I will click on submit button, header details are coming from order header table. Whenever I will click on to this button, it is navigating to screen 200. Now it's a turn to design the layout on screen 200. Now we have multiple line items for a order number. If I will go to order item table, if I will display the contents of order item table, we have multiple items for a order number. We have multiple rows for a order number. In module pool programming, Whenever you want to display the data in the form of, or whenever you want to display multiple rows, we will create a table control in module pool. What is table control? It will display the output in the form of a table, which can accommodate multiple rows and as well as we have the column labels also. So whenever you want to display the multiple rows in module pool programming, always, always prefer a table control. Table control will display the output in the form of a table, means in the form of rows and columns, you can display the output. So our next topic is how to create a table control, how to create a layout element table control. Now, firstly, I will double click on the program. I will declare, I will create one internal table of order item table types. Begin off. I will give some name to the structure. Suppose LTY underscore data one. Best way to create a structure is open the table in a new window and copy paste. Suppose I will take order number, type, data element. Order item number, type, data element, order description, type, data element, item cost, type, data element. Suppose I will display these four columns in the, in, I will display the output of four columns by using table control. I will end this structure. I will create internal table and work areas. LT data one, one, one. Never, never forgot to activate because if you will not activate this while creating the table control, it will not be able to understand this internal table. It will not be able to identify the internal table. So please activate. Now I will double click on to screen 200. I will click on to layout button. It will open the screen painter. You can go through SC51 also. Now, here we will learn 
how to create a table control with wizard we will use the option table control with wizard we have two things table control and table control with wizard we will use table control with wizard whenever you will drag and drop the layout element table control with wizard this pop up will open and we will perform all these steps one by one whenever one step will finish it will automatically convert to green color and we will see how we can proceed firstly start continue and you can see first step converted to green color i will give some name to the table control suppose z order underscore table control continue you can see second step also converted to green color we already declared a internal table for item data so we will choose the option internal program table just few minutes back we created a internal table lt underscore data one so i will simply go for f for help and i will choose my second internal table which is for item data that's why i told you to activate the program otherwise it will not recognized here i select the checkbox work area and we will choose the work area i will go to continue you can see third step also converted to green color these are the four columns which we defined in the internal table i will choose these four columns continue you can see fourth step converted to green color as of now we want everything as a output yes output only is strict we want column headers yes this is strict we'll simply continue this step fifth step also converted to green color do you want scroll yes i will show you if you are enabling the scroll what are the options available after doing the scroll you can scroll the data continue you can see six step also converted to green color continue seven step also converted to green color and now this is complete and we done with the all eight steps of table control and you can see we have four columns and we can show multiple rows this is your table control the output is in the form of table it is in the form of rows and columns so this is the way how you can create a table control i will save close and i'll just come back again to my program and i will activate my program now we'll go for important understanding here i will go to screen 200 and you can see we have not written this logic we have not written this logic sap automatically generated the logic for table control if i will double click on my program this logic we have not written sap automatically generated this big logic 
for that table control. So whenever you are creating a table control with the wizard, SAP is generating so many logic. Now, if I will run the program, I will give the input, submit, navigate to item details, and you can see our table control is appearing. It is in the form of a table. Now, in the next video, we will write a logic to display the output. That's it in this video. Thank you.